Okay, so we all have a plan, right? Or we all had a plan in life. People tell us to have goals, have plans, have all those things, but do they ever tell us what to do when that stuff doesn't work out? Like, what happens if you don't make it to the NFL? What happens if you don't become the best actor in the world? What happens if this, 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 and that happens? What happens if you break up? What happens if this, what's that? And that's what's happening. Like, I meet so many people, they put it all in this one thing because that's all they want to do. And I get it. I know someone, you know, the relationship was the goal. And then when that broke, when that left and didn't work, it was like, man, what do I do now? My purpose is gone. Shoot, you, you don't have to tell me, you know, once spending like a few seasons away from ball and track and school, like that kind of threw me out the way, out of the loop. So what do you do then if things just don't work out? It may sound weird and it may not be the best idea in the world, but what worked for me is I played the if game. I started imagining what if this stuff was really going on and my motivation kicked right back in. I said, okay, you're not playing football right now. What if you were? And I said, if I was playing football, I'd be happier. I'd be doing this. I'd be doing that. I'd be working out. What's stopping you? Duh. <laughs> okay. Shoot. What if you were in that relationship? What if you were still with her? What if you were still with him? Oh, I'll be this, I'll be this, I'll be this. It may wear off, depending on your brain and all that stuff, but what if? What if I was at this school? What if I was at that? And my book, if this were that, I wrote at the top of my papers, Harvard and Morehouse. Because <laughs> I wasn't motivated at my school. I was just like, well, if I was at these schools, how motivated would I be? Instead of it taking me forever to write a paper, I would knock it out super fast because I would be motivated. There's more of a purpose there. If you wake up and say, what the heck? <laughs> you got to have something there. Okay, what if I was doing this? If I like to bake, what if I was a sh what if I was doing this? What if I was doing that? What if I had my own business? What if I was a millionaire? Think about it and then go for it. I'm telling you, it helped me. I would wake up and say, screw it. I'm not dead yet. Like... <laughs> What's the point? You know, if I'm not playing ball, if I'm not doing this stuff that I really want to do, man, just take me. You know, like, it's no point in me just waking up and just not, and just being, just waking up and just not being, just not doing what I want to do. It makes no sense. And I'm opening up to you all because you have to be. You have to be vulnerable if I'm saying that correctly. Or like in the past, squishy. <laughs> you gotta be squishy in this world because if I can act hard, I can say, oh crap, I speak in front of people. What are they gonna say? They're gonna say, oh crap, you were depressed once? You walk up and said, screw it. Or if I speak in the church, kill me now. Yes, I have to be honest. I have to be open. Hiding all this stuff just makes you seem like this wall. It's just, nah. If I'm going to speak to you, you're going to get my story. You're going to get everything. You know, you're not just going to get this robot. Yes, I have this many awards. Yes, I did this. Yes, I did this. Yeah, I did. But life happens. Stuff happened. I mean, if my mom didn't lose her job, I probably would have never wrote a book. If I never got pushed out of drawing every day and playing sports, I probably would have never loved football. I probably would still be drawing. And it's not to say that I was bad. It's just I found something else I love. What I'm saying is try to at least use the if statements to your life and see if that can help. That's it. I'm done being psychotherapist, psychologist, therapist, norm.